Hello everyone, I am Dr. Nisha Garg. Today we will be discussing the theories of dental caries. So let's start. See there are many theories which have been proposed supporting the formation or spread of the dental caries. But mainly these three theories that is acidogenic theory, protolytic theory, protolysis chelation theory. They are the most popular theories justifying the formation and spread of the dental caries. So let's start with acidogenic or chemicoparasitic theory. See this theory is the most accepted theory describing the cause of dental caries and it was given by Miller in 1890 that's why it's also known as Miller's chemicoparasitic theory. Now let's see why is it called chemicoparasitic theory. See Miller said caries is a chemicoparasitic process where the caries is caused by a variety of microorganisms and acids in the oral cavity which are produced by action of microorganisms. Now I'll tell you how Miller explained this chemicoparasitic theory. He said that caries process occurs in two stages. In the initial stage, there occurs the decalcification of enamel and destruction of dentine. And in the second stage, there occurs the dissolution of softened residue of enamel and dentine. For this, these two processes, the Miller showed four important factors in his study. That is the role of microorganisms, carbohydrate substrate over the tooth surface, acids and dental plaque. Now we will see how these four factors are important in the acidogenic theory. First of all, let's discuss the karyogenic potential of dietary carbohydrates. See, this further depends on physical form of carbohydrates, chemical composition and frequency of intake. See, it's a proven fact that the carbohydrates which are soft and sticky and refined, they have low clearance rate from the oral cavity. And thus, they are more cariogenic. Whereas, coarse and fibrous carbohydrates, they have high clearance rate and they have low cariogenic potential. So, this is the physical nature of the carbohydrates. And if we look at the frequency, frequency of intake of carbohydrates, it's directly proportional to the karyogenic potential of diet, carbohydrates. Now if we look at the chemical nature of carbohydrates, see polysaccharides, they are less easily fermented by the bacteria when compared to monosaccharides and disaccharides. For example, glucose, sucrose and fructose. These are the highly fermentable carbohydrates which get easily broken down by the bacteria to produce acids. And as we know, this acid is responsible for dissolution of hydroxyapatite crystals of enamel and dentine. Now let's see the role of microorganisms in formation of dental caries. See, most commonly involved microorganism for initiation of dental caries is streptococcus mutans. Now what does it do? 
this streptococcus mutans it ferments the sucrose and form acids and as we know these acids they are responsible for demineralization of the enamel and dentin this esmutans also uses the sucrose to synthesize an extracellular insoluble polysaccharide which is glucan this glucan helps in adhering the plaque firmly onto the tooth surface due to these two these properties esmutans is also considered as the main causative factor for initiation of dental caries this you keep in mind because this is the most commonly asked question in your entrance exam the other bacteria like lactobacillus actinomyces along with esmutans they cause the progression of caries this whole mechanism of caries progression i have covered in other videos you can also watch that to clear your doubts now coming to role of acids see this we have already seen that the fermentation of carbohydrates cause the formation of acids which cause dissolution of enamel and dentin and most commonly formed acid in cariogenic saliva is lactic acid which is responsible for dissolution of organic portion of the tooth now let's see the role of dental plaque in development of caries see plaque is a soft and sticky film that builds on the tooth surface it consists of millions of bacteria apart from salivary components like mucin and minerals like calcium plaque is implicated in development of dental caries when there is a shift in the microbial balance of plaque which results in increase in number of acid producing that is acidogenic and acid tolerating that is aciduric bacteria like esmutans and lactobacilli i hope you understood how miller's chemico parasitic theory explained the role of carbohydrates microorganisms plaque and acids in development of the dental caries since carbohydrates microorganisms and plaque are responsible for caries most of the preventive steps are based on this theory only so if we summarize the basic points of miller's chemico parasitic theory it is the most accepted theory which explains that caries is a chemico parasitic process where microorganisms carbohydrates acids and plaque they play an important role all preventive steps are based on this theory i hope you understood this miller's chemico parasitic theory now if you have any doubt you can mail me at my mail address see proteolytic and proteolysis chelation theories i have explained in other videos thanks for watching this video kindly like subscribe and share with your friends take care and goodbye